Hello everybody and welcome to Valley Parade, or at least that's what I'm calling it, that's what it's known as, that's what it should be known as. It's the home of Bradford City and it's Liverpool's next game in the pre-season campaign. Liverpool of course kicked off with a 6-0 win at Prenton Park against Tranmere Rovers on Thursday. Uh, Jurgen Klopp has said that he's going to more or less take the same approach for this game, so expect two different sides, uh, one for the first half and completely different 11 for the second half. There will be some changes for Liverpool, Dejan Lovren is back in the squad. There will however be no Paul Powell Glatzel, sorry, he picked up a serious injury. Liverpool are awaiting on results of a scan on, on a knee problem that he's got, uh, so we'll have to see how long he's going to be out for, but the suggestion is he certainly won't be pay playing again for pre-season, so another youngster, Liam Miller, he comes into the squad. So we're expecting here a 24,000 capacity crowd for this game, which will be played uh, in benefit of the Derby Rimmer Foundation, which of course is uh, to help benefit uh, Stephen Derby, who set up that camp that campaign. He, of course, is a former Liverpool youngster, came through the academy, also played here at Bradford, but he's had to retire uh, last year at the age of 29 from football because he's been diagnosed with motor neurone disease. So he's. Uh, putting his weight behind this campaign and uh, all proceeds will be going towards that so we're expecting as I say a full house here it'll be interesting to see what Jurgen Klopp does with his team as I suspect as I just said before it may, he's even hinted that it may even be the same starting team that played against Tranmere but uh, it'll be uh, probably a last chance for some of these youngsters to stake their claim before the tour to America they fly out on Tuesday because there will of course be those five that we just mentioned coming back into the squad. Well, I was up to see a lot of goals today, why not? Um, get Divock on the on the team sheet. I'd like to see Ox get a couple of goals as well and just, just, have, just have a good time and make sure we uh, get a lot of goals. After 6-0 the other day, got to be a good 4 or 5 nil. That'd be nice. Easy 6-0 win, it had to be 6. It couldn't be any other scoreline. Six Champions Leagues, 6-0. 97 points and no league is unthinkable. So we've got to do that again. They're all saying get Coutinho back, don't want him back. He knew what he was doing last January, sodded off to Barcelona, he knew exactly what he was doing, don't want him back.
Yeah, yeah good. today was all about Stephen Darby. Pleasing that as a football club you managed to show your support today. Yeah, very, very important information, I would say. If you play one game for Liverpool, first team, or, or 400, doesn't matter. Um, with one game, at least with one game, with one training session, probably are one of us. And that's what the, play, what the club showed today. And um, his actual club um, showed it as well. So really nice an opportunity for us to show uh, the support for Stephen and his family. And you cover the left back. You lost Moreno, obviously, in the summer. Um, do you think the solution is internal in terms of cover? Because Robson's going to play most of your games, I guess. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a yes, that's not see. a no. Uh, no, is it? No. That's a no. It's, it's a no. The cover's not no. internal. Then, no, it's not, an, it's not a yes, not a no. No. <laughs> so. No, we will see. What can I say? Yeah, I said already. We have to. We have to think about everything and about. And at the end, maybe we do nothing. But we will see that. But of course, we are. We should be. Um, yeah. I can imagine. We, we 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 have a look on all the things around us. Yeah. Of course, we lost a left back. But we have today. We saw two pretty young ones. James played it and all that stuff. Yeah. All set. We will see. You, using the uh, Adam in a bit of a deeper midfield role, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. What's the thinking there on the team? Oh, it's just where uh, good, yeah. Adam is just kind of player, he can play that. Um, he enjoys it, obviously, a lot. Uh, it's this <laughs> Jorginho role, if you want. And I hope Mauricio well, Sarri doesn't see the games, otherwise, probably he makes an offer. Um, so. Yes, yeah, about getting getting Adam the rhythm, bring in and give him the, 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 the things he, he he's naturally good in, small spaces, keeping the ball, passing the ball, and all this stuff, and and then from time to time offering the runs in behind as well, and especially together with Mili, that's possible. But it's just uh, um, for us another option. Yeah. Thank Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Thanks. Well, Liverpool's pre-season campaign has continued here at Valley Parade. They've won by three goals to one. Uh, all the goals came in the first half. The first half team responsible for all of those. The first one was James Milner. He had a shot which was headed into his own, or deflected in off the head of uh, James Vaughan, who of course used to be a striker for Everton. Uh, the second goal was a penalty. Ryan Kent uh, went into the box and he was brought down by a Bradford player. James Milner again stepping up and, you know, he's the old Mr. Reliable from the spot. Tucks it away. And the third goal, uh, another goal for Rian Brewster, who uh, was able to latch on to a loose ball and finish from a very acute angle after Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's shot had been blocked by another Bradford defender. Uh, Bradford got a goal late on, uh, Adam Lewis who was part of the second half team, he, he brought down one of their players and uh, it was Eoin Doyle, Owen Doyle I should say, no relation to me of course, <laughs> he, he put away the, the, the spot kick past Simon Mignolet uh, and it, to be fair it was a goal that Bradford deserved, they had two goals disallowed in the first half but it was, a, it was a game where Liverpool, I think they found it a little bit more tougher than they did against Tranmere. And it was quite a physical game at times, but I think Liverpool will certainly be uh, good for the run-out. Uh, in the first half, I think Liverpool's standout player was Ryan Kent. He, along with Harry Wilson, he's one of the players that is looking to make the most of his opportunity at the moment. I know that Jurgen Klopp has not allowed him or certainly resisted uh, the temptation to allow him to go out on loan at the moment. Uh, I know Rangers are interested in there's one or two other clubs who were quite happy to, to take Kent, but he did well today. He was involved in all three goals. It was uh, his pass to Milner for the first goal for the shot. Obviously, as I say, he won the, the penalty for the second one. And for the third goal, he played the ball across for Oxlade-Chamberlain to, to have his shot. Uh, as for the rest, it was uh, to, to be honest, it was a kind of a case of uh, Liverpool players just getting minutes under the belt Dan Lovren, uh, he returned for the first time uh, this summer. Interesting for him because in the second half you saw that Joe Gomez and uh, Joel Matip were playing at, at, at centre back uh, and they did you know, reasonably well and they're the people that he has to look to overtake because uh, basically for the next games when they fly up to America on uh, Tuesday, Virgil van Dijk will be amongst them. Uh, Jordan Henderson, Gini Van Alden, Trent Alexander Arnold and Andy Robertson, the other players who will be travelling out to the, uh, linking up with this squad, sorry, with and travelling out to the United States, they play out on Tuesday. Uh, and it was, a, it was an emotional occasion as well. I mean, there was uh, 24, more than 24,000 people here today and it was the biggest crowd that Valley Parade's had since uh, it was reopened in 1986. And the reason for that is because the game was played in benefits of uh, Stephen Derby's Derby Rimmer Foundation. Uh, he obviously is the former Liverpool and Bradford player who was forced to retire. 
last uh, year at the age of 29 after he was diagnosed with suffering from motor neurone disease. There was a very emotional moment before the game where he took the microphone uh, out on the pitch, uh, he spoke to the crowd and also uh, Chris Rimmer, his friend who's, uh, who he's met also suffering, he's more advanced uh, with MND, he tried to speak, well he did speak a few, a few moments, he addressed the crowd and it was a very emotional, emotional moment for everybody here and that's why there was a full uh, capacity crowd, 24,000 as, as I've said, biggest crowd in more than 30 years, they saw Liverpool win and uh, Jurgen Klopp speaking afterwards, he did say that perhaps the second half they didn't play quite as well as in the first, there wasn't quite the same rhythm but with so many changes that was to be expected and uh, Liverpool now look towards the United States.